While Champagne and Seiko may not always go together, the Seiko 5 has a beautiful champagne color dial. The model is the SNK M63 K1. Now what you'll notice differently from this model compared to other SNK M models is that sandblasted finish all along the case. The finish stretches all the way around to the bezel, the lugs, but you'll notice that the case back and behind the lugs, you do have a stainless steel finish like the majority of the other models you'll see out there. I've been having difficulty finding a similar model with this finish, so I'm starting to wonder if this is a modified piece or if they got the case from a different model that has this finish. With that being said, this is a very functional watch as much as it is beautiful. With its day day display, its golden baton hour markers, its loomed hands, and its square loom dots all around the outer track of the dial. In true Seiko fashion, you have that screw down crown down at the four position, which controls the hands as well as the day and date functions. That sunburst champagne color is truly what makes this watch. The dial itself is well balanced, clean, and legible. That scratch resistant Harlex crystal adds more refinement to this piece. The movement is the famous caliber 7S26. With this piece, there is no hand winding or hacking. The movement operates smoothly as soon as you give it a few shakes. This is truly a watch that's ready to be worn and looks comfortably well next to any other piece in anyone's collection. At 39 millimeters, it wears easy on the wrist and the bracelet is pretty comfortable. For a watch that sells on the market for less than $100, it truly holds its own. This is a piece of solid value and in watchmaking, that's often a phrase that's overused. And I think Seiko with the Seiko 5 line has always given us true reliability. It's the simple details that Seiko executes so well such as a simple complication, water resistance, a reliable movement, just the basic things you need for an everyday watch. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and please share your thoughts. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.